Hi everyone, my name is Carolyn Wiegert. I am a sophomore in the college here at Emory University, majoring in anthropology with a minor in predictive health. Today I'm going to be giving a brief presentation on German chamomile, which is scientifically known as Matricaria recotita. Now to begin, Matricaria recotita is a member of the Asteraceae family. This family, previously referred to as Compositae, is commonly known as the daisy family. For context, some other examples of plants in this family are sunflowers, ragworts, and asters. Matricaria recotita has multiple common names in addition to German chamomile, as you can see on the slide. So some examples are Hungarian chamomile, mayweed, sweet false chamomile, etc. German chamomile has an extensive history that dates back thousands of years. There is evidence of its existence in ancient Roman, Egyptian, and Greek herbal remedies, and it has been documented in the pharmacopoeia of 26 different countries, which if you think about it is quite impressive. Uh, some of those countries we will explore later on in this presentation. Today, it's the fifth most traded herb in the world. The plant is prized on the world market for its essential oil, known as blue oil, but the dried flower heads of the plant are also traded in excess as well. The root system of German chamomile is described as spindle-shaped. Its stem grows erect up to heights of approximately 80 centimeters, or about 31 inches. Most importantly, the flower heads of the plant have golden yellow florets with small white petals, as you can see in the images provided. So here we have an image of the full plant and then one of a close-up of a flower head. This annual plant produces yellowish-brown fruit and its overall scent has been described as sweet, grassy, and lightly fruity. German chamomile is native to southern and eastern Europe, but additional countries of varied climates cultivate it. Examples include India, multiple countries in South America, and Hungary. Part of the reason for this widespread cultivation is German chamomile's ability to grow in any soil type. It is resistant to cold and propagates via seeds, making it an ideal cultivar for various continents. Hungary is one of the largest growers of the flower in the world, exporting primarily to fellow European countries. Notice labels A, C, and I on the botanical illustration pictured. So look for those here. And you can see that they provide more detailed images of the plant's roots, stem, petal shape, and seeds. When traditionally used, the plant is almost always consumed in the form of teas or tisanes. These teas or tisanes are made from either infusions or decoctions of the dried flower heads, as shown here in the bottom photograph. So here we have the longer horizontal photograph that shows the dried flower heads. Additional preparations in traditional usages are steam inhalations, compresses made of decoctions or infusions, bundles, uh, which is where the plant is bundled with other herbs in the whole plant form. Uh, we'll see some examples of this later on. When traditionally used, the plant is almost always consumed in tea form as said, and the traditional uses of German chamomile are quite varied. So as one can see from the list pictured here on the slide, there are many different uses. In southern Italy, the ethnic Aberesh of Basilicata used German chamomile in two primary ways. Quote unquote, wind illness of this population is a disease believed to be of spiritual origin, appearing on the skin as a rash. The Aberesh believe it is acquired when one walks through a quote unquote, spiritually charged space. And to treat it, German chamomile is bundled with other herbs, then waved over the rash while reciting a pre special prayer. This process is repeated for nine nights. The flowers, leaves, and aerial parts are also used to prepare tea decoctions used as digestives and sedatives. In northern Italy, on the Tuscan archipelago island of Elba, German chamomile is known as chamomilla di campo or chamomilla maceta. Decoctions of the plant's flowers are used in external applications to soothe reddened skin or as eye compresses. Infusions are consumed to treat internal ailments. The island's population consumes the infusion form as an analgesic, anti-inflammatory, and a digestive. For both Mexicans and Mexican-American immigrants, German chamomile in its tea decoction form is an essential herbal remedy. Its Mexican common name is manzanilla, manzanilla, excuse my butchering of Spanish there. In Mexico, it's used to treat general gastrointestinal distress, fever, conjunctivitis, flu, sore throat, and diseases of the quote-unquote evil eye. Mexican-American immigrants use it to treat menstrual cramps, stomach aches, and infant colic. The tea is also used as a sinus cleanse or an eye wash for anxiety. In central Serbia, German chamomile is both 
a medicinal plant and a functional food. Its common name is Camellica, and is a, it is applied or ingested in tea form as an antiseptic, anti-inflammatory, and sedative. It is applied externally to treat skin wounds, burns, and galls, or as a vaginal douche. It is ingested to treat stomach pains, dyspepsia, and constipation. Steam inhalations are also used to relieve sinus congestion from sinusitis. Now lastly, in Syria, excuse me, it is one of the many herbal components in Zara tea mixtures, which are uh, tea mixtures most commonly sold in Damascus marketplaces, and they are consumed uh, after meals as digestives. So chamomile is one of the many components in those teas. In terms of chemistry and pharmacology, uh, over 120 chemical constituents have been identified in German chamomile, many of which are in the flavonoid, sesquiterpene, and coumarin families. Notable compounds include the flavone glycoside apigenin, whose chemical structure is pictured here, as you can see on the slide, and alpha bisabolum, and the sesquiterpene camazuline. Pure camazuline is blue in color and it is extracted as the plant's essential oil, so that's why the essential oil is referred on the world market to as blue oil. Now before we get into biological activity, additional chemical compounds are tannins, polysaccharides, amino acids, and fatty acids. A small amount of choline is also present. And it's also important to know that the decoction form of the plant retains a higher percentage of phenolic compounds than the infusion form. Uh, in terms of biological activity, the plant has shown promising results in both in vitro and in vivo studies. Now, if you scroll through the references at the end of this presentation, you will notice most are from the past 10 years. This is because all scientific research on the plant is very recent. Within, in an in vivo study on rats, German chamomile showed the potential to reduce the symptoms of di the diarrheal form of irritable bowel syndrome, and it effectively reduced on its own gastric emptying and small bowel transit. But it showed even more potential when it was combined with the plant aloe vera. In an in vitro study, olive oil extract of German chamomile inhibited growth of Heliobacter pylori by preventing the produ production of urease. H. pylori bacteria have been linked to the development of many gastrointestinal disorders, and so German chamomile could represent a potential herbal remedy for patients with antibiotic resistant strains of this bacteria. Lastly, in an in vivo and in vitro study testing German chamomile's wound healing potential, uh, the in vivo rat model of male albino rats showed that German chamomile was even more effective than the traditional corticosteroid treatment. Uh, researchers believe the sesquiterpene camazuline, whose chemical structure is shown here, may be responsible for the plant's wound healing and antibacterial activity. There have been very few clinical studies. So in terms of clinical studies, there are very limited scientific papers available out there for research. Uh, however, topical German chamomile has been shown to alleviate skin irritations, such as eczema or atopic dermatitis, and it does this just as effectively as traditional hydrocortisone cream treatment. Steam inhalations of the plant's essential oil have shown potential for pain relief and relaxation, and researchers have also tested German chamomile as a potential herbal remedy for anxiety and depression, but further research in this area needs to be done before conclusive results can be uh, reached. Uh, and its flavonoids and flavone derivative, apigenin, are hypothesized to possess anxiolytic and antidepressant potential. In terms of contraindications, the Food and Drug Administration classifies German chamomile as grass or generally recognized as safe. Only a few rare cases of adverse drug reactions have been recorded. Most adverse drug reactions are hypothesized to be a result of plant contaminations. So for example, German chamomile is often contaminated with another species known as dog chamomile, which commonly elicits allergic reactions in many people. In addition, people with existing allergies to the Asteraceae family should be wary of the plant. On a different note, it is advised that those taking the drug warfarin should consume German chamomile with caution. It is hypothesized that German chamomile may interfere with the blood coagulation process when the patients take the two, the two together. Also, those consuming aspirin and NSAIDs on a regular basis in conjunction with German chamomile should be aware that the plant might contribute additional blood thinning effects to these drugs. Finally, German chamomile can increase the effects of several central nervous system depressant drugs. Today, German chamomile is still consumed most often in its traditional form of tea or tisane. Consumers can buy its dried flower head in whole form or powdered in tea bags. 
Although scientifically there isn't much results behind this, German chamomile tea is often consumed under the belief that it relieves the symptoms of depression, anxiety, and insomnia. German homeopathic physicians also regularly prescribe the plant in oral and topical forms as an herbal remedy for various respiratory infections, general gastrointestinal distress, infectious diseases, and much more. German chamomile is used in aromatherapy and in many cosmetic and hair products. Here are the references used to create this presentation, but to wrap up, it's important to recognize that German chamomile still has much undiscovered potential. There have been very few clinical trials run on the plant and its flowers, but it still has shown encouraging antibacterial, antiseptic, and anti-inflammatory activity. So just think of this plant's potential for modern medicine in the future. On the following slides, you'll find the resources used to create this presentation. They're formatted in APA style, should you wish to do further reading. And thank you for listening.